back again, man. Look like we got us a eggshell right there. I got a fall apart Honda. I got two TCF sitting right there. Got a dumpster Dodge sitting on top. Got some German trash sitting right there too also. Man, got a little bit of everything, y'all. A little bit of everything. So not too long ago, I just called my boss. I told and just told my boss, I was like, hey man, you know this morning I spent 45 minutes airing up these two front tires. He was like, man, why didn't you call him? I was like, dude, I just aired these babies up, man, and just went to start and just went to crush. He was like, damn G, you could at least call me, man. I could at least brought him. So we got to talking on the phone for a minute. And he was like, and he was like, well, you do know I got two of them at the yard. I said, yeah, I know those two right there at the yard. I know those. And he was like, and he was like, man, we might do, we, 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 uh, we may just go ahead and just get all four of them and just get all four of them replaced. I was like, oh hell yeah! So today, the boss man just spent another eighteen hundred dollars for two more ties for my load. Man, so all together, y'all, he done spent. Um, I would say. I would say close to about five grand, y'all, man. That's what I would say. Because at $900 a piece, and then not only that, not not only that, you got to pay, you got to pay the tire man to put everything on. He's got to take the tires off, put them on, and then you know what I'm saying? He gets charged, and he, and he gets charged by the hour. So, man, depends how long it's going to take, uh, depends how long it's going to take him to put the tires on. So, man, so yeah, you, you're looking at it quite a bit of money, man. Because that's what, 18 for two? And then two more? So, all together, he's probably, like I said, all together, he's probably looking at close to about, oh, man, probably close to about, uh, I would say maybe 45, five, something like that. Almost close to about five grand. That's putting them on, and it's everything, however long it takes. That's everything. It's a lot of money, man, for these damn big ass tires. Cause the bigger they are, the more expensive they get. So like the big one, like the big, um, like the big John Deere we got at the yard, the big boy, well that's the big Gale. Her tires are a thousand dollars a piece for each one of them, uh, for hers. And those just brand new, brand new. Cause we don't really use no used tires. We need a brand new. So hopefully, so hopefully tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow I can get. I can those new tires put on tomorrow. Hopefully. But then again, but then again, depends on depends on how long it's gonna take him too also to put them babies on. So I know it's gonna take him a minute to put them on there. I know they y'all. Cause I helped him I helped him do it. I helped him do a, a set on another load at one time, man. Y'all it took us a while man. It took us a good minute just to get those tires up on there. Uh, we got a Dodge Dynasty right there. Straight trash, garbage. It's another dumpster dog. That's all it is. That's all that is. Man, I got a lot of Fords up off of that next load right there. I'm going to end up crushing. Not for sure when I'm going to end up crushing it, but uh, let me put it on this side because you still got to get that old big ass rust edition. Trash edition, I should say. What I should call it the trash edition. Cause that's exactly what it is. The trash edition. Like expedition, trash edition. <laughs> Man, I'll be coming up with these old crazy ass names. <laughs> just for no reason, man. Just for no reason I just be coming up with them. <coughs> Mario, I do know that. You ain't gonna better get the tie in the house. Just wait. I don't want you getting yourself hurt. Sweet, sweet. I don't want you getting hurt trying to trying to grab a damn me tire, man. I would hate to see. I would hate to see little Mario get hurt, man. Trying to grab a tire. I mean, I know he's trying to do his job. I know he's trying to hurry up, but sometimes, man, you gotta be careful. Can't move too fast, man, because you move too fast in this game, you'll accidentally get yourself hurt for real. Cause you can actually get killed, man, dealing with these cars here. They end up falling the wrong way or or something fall or something fall a different way and crack you right on top of your damn head, man. 
crack this shit open like a damn egg. I gotta be careful, man, because this ain't the type of stuff you really want to play with. It's really not at all. I done had my, I done had my fair share of my injuries. I done had my share. I done seen, man, I done seen a lot of people, man, get deep cuts from these converters. You'd be amazed, man. You'd be amazed at the stuff that you see. You will be amazed. Square bees, man. Square bees. So I had somebody ask me, do I ever crush race cars with road cages in them? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do all the time, man. All the time, man. Uh, I just recently just crushed um i can't remember where oh man harry venable man i mean harold sorry harold venable had to give you a shout out man i kind of forgot a little bit just then so back to what i was saying so i had somebody oh man i just had a stomach cramp just did good god Oh man, y'all ever have a stomach cramp, man? That hurts so damn me bad. But as soon as you do something, it's like ah, instant relief. Oh man, y'all gonna have to excuse me, y'all. I forgot my little old conversation. I kind of forget, man. But yeah, um, just not too long ago, I did crush. Um, I did crush a race car that did that. Uh, that did had a roll cage in it. Most of the time, we don't take the road cages out because 90% of the time they're uh, they actually welded in. So I ain't really got no torch here to actually cut them out. But uh, yeah, I crush them all the time, man. I crush them all the time. I got a moment of silence there for a second. Quick moment of silence. What are what are some things you can and can't crush? Oh man, that's a whole mouthful right there. That is a whole mouthful right there. Oh man, it's a lot of things you can and can't crush in a lot of these cars. Daniel Skies, what's up, man? Gotta give both you guys a shout out. I know y'all asked me for a shout out uh, Saturday, but I was working with another crew at that time then. Oh man. So um, it's a lot of things that we can and can't crush. Uh, we can't crush propane tanks. We can't crush saline tanks, oxygen tanks, uh, any type of diesel tanks, gasoline tanks like in back of trucks and stuff like that. We have to poke a big old hole in them. Uh, uh, we can't crush. Uh, we can't crush forklifts because the metal is too thick. We, uh, we can't crush 18 wheeler frames unless they're cut up or spray painted. But now it's to the point to where they make us like put that on top of a car, or something like this, a thick 18 wheeler frame or something like that. So we don't really just, sometimes we don't really crush them. Sometimes we just smack, you know, we just smash it down just a little bit. That way they could just sit on top of that, uh, sit on top of that bundle, you know, that, that we're loading up or, 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 or sometimes you may just come and pick up the whole 18 wheeler itself. Y'all get what I mean? So it's, uh, it's a lot of things we can and can't crush. You know, it's a lot of things to, um, uh, microwaves and stuff like that we can't crush microwaves because they because they uh it gives off it gives off radiation over there at the mill because uh before you even get inside the mill they have this um they have this um they have this radiation detection they have radiation detection that um that goes off automatically if they start detecting any type of radiation it doesn't matter if it's a small amount of radiation or not it automatically start beep, 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 so the truck automatically he have to stop automatically and then that's when they have to start 
that's when they had to start bringing their own little old bitty radiation thing and they trying to figure out what bundle or what car is causing the radiation. So then, so then basically what they do is they will um, they will take that load, they will take it to the back after they finish unloading it and then they will use a crane and that crane will separate each and every single car. They will open up each and every single car, shake everything out of that car to see what was the reason why it had radiation. Uh, it could be a bad sewer pipe because we can't crush sewer pipes. We can't crush uh, any type of drilling pipe because that gives off radiation. Uh, um, certain um, certain type of uh, certain type of different metals, material. I would say different type of materials we can't crush just for just for the simple fact of radiation. Again, um, say for instance, like say for instance, you have uh, like say for instance, you have like thick forks like mine, because y'all see how thick my forks are. So we can't crush stuff that deep like that because the shredder won't be able to break it all the way up. They won't be able to break it up. It'll break the teeth off because these right here, these forks here, they're reinforced. So the metal is the, the metal is ten times stronger. So it it apply it it needs more force to you know to actually break it. So that's another thing we can't crush uh, any type of any type of gas tanks. You know, not just not just gas, but you know, any type of tanks. Period. Uh, it's a lot more. It's it's a lot more other things. It's a lot more other things that we can and can't crush. I mean, I can keep going on and on and on, but I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna take it that far with that right there. I'm not gonna take it that far. That'd be giving out a little bit too much information. But yeah, man. I mean, it's. It's a lot of things I have crushed that I shouldn't have crushed, but you know, it, it if it does, if, if it does come back, you know, I end up, you know, explaining to the boss, hey, it's such a yada yada yada, or you know, me and Mario didn't see it in that car, or something like that, you know. So it could be, it, it could be, it could be a number of things that we can and can't crush, you know. So I mean. I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, being in this business here, you find a lot of stuff in the cars. You know what I mean? It's a lot of things that these that you find in the cars. Oh, another thing we can't crush. Neither we can't crush any type of uh, any type of uh, freon tanks. We can't crush any of those or any type of way. So you know, it's 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 a whole bunch of things, man. We can and can't do. You know, but I mean, it's just. I mean, it's just part of the game. That's all it is. Just part of the game. All right, let me go ahead and take this over there. Take this nasty Nate over there. Let's see what else I got over here. Oh, man. Good God Almighty. Oh, man. I've been having bad gas all day. Jesus Christ. One of my goddamn stomach did hurt. Oh. Okay, let me let me see. A couple of these I'm gonna end up putting maybe more than one together. So let me see. I'm gonna take this right quick. Y'all gonna have to excuse me for everything being so bumpy. Cause this is a bumpy place and I know it's probably a lot of shaking in my damn phone. You know what it is. But I mean, it is what it is, baby. Guess we go ahead and take us a couple of more TCFs up there. Oh, I see he's bringing me more junk cars. They bringing me more. Hauling in two of them right now as we speak, y'all. Got to see, I see old pork chop finally came to the damn party. He finally came. He's been late to his own crushing party. Ain't that something? Can't be late to your own crushing party, y'all. Man, I hate it when I got to move all that stuff out the way, man. 
Now I gotta move this little old bit of tank. I done moved three of them already. Jesus. Hopefully I can sit this baby down without nothing happening. Well, it fell over the side. It'll be a okay. And so here's a hug, another. No good Toyota. Toyota Oda. Oh man, it is really humid out there. Boy, it's humid as hell out here. Oh. Alright, so now I'm at the... So now I'm at the redo these here. I hate when my damn me, my damn spit wanna go down wrong one down. I mean, my spit wants to go down the wrong two wrong windpipe. Man, I'm choking. I can't even talk correct. Damn, it's really going on. Man, hopefully tomorrow I can get my new tires put on. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully that I can. So I'm tired of I'm, I'm tired of have to get here every morning and then have to spend 30 minutes airing up tires, 30, 45 minutes airing up tires and stuff, man. This stuff gets old after a period of time. It really does. It gets old. job that we do every day every single day nah these tires right here they don't last they do not last that long Problems already the first the first time I tried picking you up. Oh shit, don't let the trash fall out. Come on, sir, where Mario, where you at, sir? Sometimes, sometimes I do got to crush at an angle because I got this car sitting right there at the spot I need to get to in the back. But it is what it is, man.
y'all. That's gonna be it for right now. I get back with y'all later on. Y'all stay up and I'll stay up. Peace.